It has been one year since a train derailed on a bridge over Tempe Town Lake, collapsing, erupting in flames and spilling hazardous materials. But after a year, we still don't know what caused the crash. The I team's Bianca Bono has been covering this wreck for a year now and has reviewed hundreds of pages of new reports released today by the NTSB. New video obtained by the 12 News I team showing a truck traveling under a 100-year-old bridge over Tempe Town Lake around 6 a.m. on July 29th last year. Seconds later, rail cars on the Union Pacific train overhead derailed. Then a spark is seen on the tracks and soon after, a collapse. The video from the perspective of a Valley Metro light rail, another train going right through the apocalyptic scene as the fallen rail cars and collapsed bridge burst into flames, sending black smoke into the valley skies. Did the rail fail? Um, was there any problem with the welding or the repair job? Barzid Mobasher, an engineering professor at ASU, reacting to a 1,300-page preliminary report released by the National Transportation Safety Board on the one-year anniversary of the incident. The train caused the bridge to collapse. The exact cause still unknown, but federal investigators interviewing several Union Pacific employees, including those who inspected the bridge one month prior when another train derailed in the same spot. Records do show there were defects on the track that were scheduled to be fixed after the bridge collapsed. In all, the incident, which thankfully left nobody hurt, resulting in $10 million in damage and an additional 500000 going back to the city of Tempe. Mo Basher, hoping it's a wake-up call for engineers everywhere. I think this has to address the fact that we need to pay attention to our infrastructure. And the NTSB will issue a final report, which will include the official cause. Bianca Bono, 12 News.